Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Today I want to review a synthetic wig and I haven't really done that in a very long time. This particular wig was sent to me by Renee of Paris, so I'm going to give my honest first impressions on this wig. I show my unboxing video over on Instagram, so if you want to see what it looked like right when it came out of the box, you can go over there and check it out. But first things first, this is a synthetic wig. This is the Wig Sage in the color Shaded Amber. I do have a human hair wig that I showed a couple videos back, but this one is definitely different in color. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but it doesn't have as dark of a root, and there's also kind of some blonde pieces going throughout this. I'll show it up close in a minute, but it is very, very dimensional when you're actually looking at it up close. Construction of the cap has open wefting right here in the back so I can put my little fingers in. It has these adjustable straps right here that, to make it a little bit tighter. It has a lace part right here and so because the lace is only in the middle you can't move the part and it has a lace front right here. It's not a high heat synthetic so you can't use any heat on this at all or the hair will just fizzle off. It does have an average cap size which fits my head perfectly and I can already tell you one of my favorite things about the wigs is that it is very comfortable on the head. So because I haven't really worn a synthetic like this in a few years, I did used to have a Renee of Paris called Tatum five years ago, but it's been such a long time. I just kind of wanted to review the care instructions for what you're supposed to do when combing out a synthetic wig for the first time. They do recommend kind of holding it upside down and shaking it out before a brush it so that's what we're gonna do right here I also did it on my unboxing video just to get some of the tingles out and then I'm just kind of rubbing my hands through some of it before we get started my bio hair is crazy at the moment I think I'm on day five of not washing so just ignore that but I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on I do love how easy it is um, to put on. That's definitely one of my favorite things so far. I'm gonna continue to kind of use my fingers a little bit to kind of zhuzh the roots and just kind of brush it out. This red is super vibrant. It's, it's much more vibrant than the Wigs by Tiffany red that I have. I'm gonna take a brush right here and starting from the bottoms, I'm just gonna kind of work my way up and then I'll show you guys what I like about it. Nice and smooth. It kind of is weird coming from, you know, human hair for all these years and then with synthetics that can't be heat styled, you definitely have to do things a little bit differently. So it's almost like I'm learning all over again how to care for a synthetic wig. Here's what she looks like, brushed out and a little bit fluffed out. It has these kind of curtain bangs, I would say, that come to about right here and it kind of cascades down. I love the cut on this particular wig. I'm really a fan of this cascading part right here, so I'm definitely loving that. This is what the length looks like. I would say it's about a 21 inch, about 21 inches with some layers in it. It did come with a zigzaggy part right here. This is what the hairline looks like right here. So the knots are not bleached. It does have a smidge of a darker root kind of peeking through. But that's an up close look of what it looks like. I'm going to show you a couple ways to style this wig that I think would be really pretty and also show off some of the layers. For the first look, I'm just going to kind of take out these little curtain bangs right here and then I'm just going to put it up in a half up, half down and just taking a little bit, not a ton. I might look in the viewfinder right here so that I don't totally butcher it. You just wanna smooth that top part to make sure that nothing is sticking out too much. I'm gonna take a little clip like this. I think this is super cute with the bangs. Like I said, the bangs have to be one of my favorite things about this wig, this front piece. I also think because you have these bangs cascading down that it kind of hides some of the knots right here because you wouldn't have the hairline exposed as much as it would on other wigs. This is what the back looks like with this little half up style. 
The next style I want to try is to actually take a, a giant claw clip like this and put it up. And I might need to go in later and kind of fix because I did cut my hair into a pixie, so I don't have that bottom layer that I used to at the bottom of the wig to kind of help, like right here, to kind of help blend it. So I would have to kind of pull some of this bottom hair down a little bit. But I'm just gonna take it and then turn it on itself. And this clip is so amazing. Um, it holds everything and I love the color. So I just gotta pull some of this hair down so that it doesn't show my bio hair. I think this style is really cute, especially for summer since it is so hot. And you can always adjust it with a clip like this and make it tighter. I love the color, it's super vibrant and like it has these little bit of blonde dimensional pieces throughout it that are very subtle, so I love that. I also love the cut, that has to be one of my favorite things is the cut. So love these bangs, I think it's very, very flattering. And lastly, I love the cap. I have always really liked open wefted caps and for some reason those sometimes tend to be mostly on synthetics and I rarely find them on really expensive human hair wigs but I do find that this cap is incredibly comfortable so that's my last thing that I'm just loving. On my not so favorite list would be the fact that the knots are not bleached and I know this is a synthetic wig. It's not a $50 synthetic wig but it is in the almost $300 range and I know some synthetic wigs do have have bleached knots but this one does not I will say like I said it's not as bad as some other ones due to the bangs kind of covering a lot of that but I am just so used to very expensive human hair wigs so there is a difference from a piece that has completely bleached knots to ones that don't but I still think it is a very beautiful piece the only other thing I noticed was that the hair on this one seems a little bit drier I did have the Tatum from Renee of Paris and that one the hair was a darker brown but I just don't remember it feeling as dry as this it was really short with bangs so it was a totally different type of wig but i think that this one just feels a little bit more dry to me you can buy this wig at several boutiques online or places in store and i know that they have this wig in a ton of different colors so there are lots of options but this would be great if you are starting out or you love synthetics or want a more affordable piece and you are on the hunt for a redhead with these gorgeous curtain bangs that's it for today it was just a quick first impression of this wig from Renee of Paris. I'll definitely have to show you guys how I wear this one out and if I find any other styles that I love with it. Thank you for watching this video and please let me know down below if you want to see me review some more synthetics, more affordable wigs, and what brands that you want to see because I know there are so many out there but this is only just one of them. So if you're loving synthetics, if you want more of those, leave a comment down below and let me know what you wanna see. Thank you for watching, and just remember, if you are losing hair, I hope you're not losing heart and that you have a blessed day. Bye.